The Creator is a new sci-fi epic about a war between mankind and artificial intelligence. Is it a good cautionary tale or just another flashy action flick? So this movie takes place in the year 2055 where the US wages war on the AI beings that they themselves created all because of an explosion in LA caused by AI. However, the country of New Asia does not stand by these decisions and continues to embrace the advancement of AI, plunging them into war with the US. New Asia's creator of AI developments, known only as Nirmata, has allegedly been working on a new AI weapon strong enough to win the war. We follow a former special ops agent named Joshua, played by John David Washington, who is convinced back into his duties for personal reasons. The US forces are sent on a mission to find this AI weapon and the creator, but of course, New Asia isn't going down without a fight. So what did I like about this movie? For starters, I really like the CGI in this movie. It really had some of the best VFX I've seen in a movie in a very long time. So it's funny, I was thinking about this. It kind of just seems like we've reached a plateau in the advancement of editing softwares for creating CGI. It seems that the technology that we have for editing CGI isn't really improving from here and that the main restriction we see with creating CGI is time restrictions or effort and skill from the VFX artists. And I think a lot of us have noticed a decline in CGI quality in recent years. And that's really just only because of time restrictions or effort. So with that said, it was really honestly refreshing seeing a really cool, big sci-fi spectacle film like this with actually really good CGI. This movie had me really feeling for a lot of characters, even the ones that were only two-dimensional at best. I really felt the intensity of battle and the anguish that some of these characters had experienced. Now, for some of the things that weren't super spectacular, it really drives me crazy when writers deliver exposition in a very inorganic way. For an example, rather than us learning about important details that set the stage for the story naturally, they did things like full screening old TV footage to give us context for things, which would make perfect sense if the movie then cut to a person watching said TV footage, but no. But that's not really unheard of. A lot of writers do spoon feed us exposition like that when they are afraid that if they deliver the exposition more organically, we might gloss over those important details that could be setting the stage for important events. I think there also could have been more meaningful moments between Josh and some of the other agents. For example, he has a friend in this movie who doesn't really feel like much more than a coworker. I think for an agent on the side of humanity, he could have felt a bit more human in that regard. There's one big complaint that I have that I'm gonna be a little bit vague about just to avoid spoilers. I was really liking the complexity of the overarching issue between both sides of the war, but then there is a moment in this movie that just makes it explicitly clear that there is a right and wrong side. And that said, with the way that they wrote a lot of characters and actions, it did kind of seem like they were trying to get us, the viewers, to be invested in one side of the war anyway, but I liked for a while that it wasn't all black and white, and I kind of just wish that it had stayed that way until the end. Sorry if that's a bit vague, I just really don't want to be that guy who accidentally spoils a big part of the movie. I thought that the pacing of the movie was really good. I thought that it had a good blend of action, dialogue, and intrigue. That is, up until the third act. The third act was mostly an action sequence, which was a little disappointing, especially in comparison to the entire movie leading up to that. All that said, I did think the movie, for the most part, was pretty great. I don't think that it was completely captivating the way that it could have been, but nevertheless, it had heart, it had good action, it had humor, it had beautiful visuals. I think that it's definitely a good watch for most of you and probably a must watch for those of you that consider yourself diehard sci-fi fans. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If it brought you any value at all, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. I'll see you later this week with my review of Fair Play.